why make a seum during the nine days if we are not going to eat meat anyway? The idea of seum in the nine days is something that the Rebbe very much encouraged. The source actually is from the Rebbe Rashab. The Rebbe Rashab would make siyumim in the nine days and he didn't eat meat, nevertheless didn't eat meat. There's a few concepts regarding it. The most important thing is that at a time when according to Torah, there has to be mourning. However, the mourning is one that comes from the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. One of the main things that we want to emphasize in this time of mourning is that we're not only mourning what happened that the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed, but rather we're trying to transform the mourning into becoming rather a simcha and a joy because of the building of the Beis HaMikdash. So we try and do everything that's possible in the Torah to make there be, according to the Torah, simchas, even though we don't eat meat. But we nevertheless make a siyum, which is a simcha, which is a Torah simcha, it's a joy, which according to the Torah is not allowed, only allowed but encouraged, in order to add joy in this concept, in this time itself, of the nine days, so that from morning we can transform it to joy and bring the ultimate of what the purpose of the morning is, which is to bring joy instead. In addition to that, the Rebbe spoke at length, um, especially from Tafshin Lamed onwards, from 1970. The Rebbe began to speak about the idea that in the nine day, in the three weeks in general, we should increase in learning Torah. The increase in learning Torah comes from the Pasuk Tzioin B'Mishpat Tipade Tzioin is going to be redeemed through Mishpat. Mishpat is Torah, like the Targum says, Mishpat Harisha in Hilchus HaKad Mesa Alachis, the laws of Torah. So it has to be every possible opportunity to increase in learning Torah. As the morning gets stronger and there's the idea of the nine days, we want to increase even more in learning Torah through making Siyumim, through making these different Siyumim Esechta. Now although we don't eat meat, but nevertheless, the Rebbe does encourage that we should make a Sudas Mitzvah, a Vidna Yaimatava Lerabana. As the Gemara says that when you finish a Mesechta, you make a holiday for the rabbis in the Vesmedr, so to make uh, 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 a, uh, to connect the Siyum with a Sudas Mitzvah, with some type of increase in a happy celebration. In addition to this, there's another idea. And that is that Siyum, completing a Mesechta, is connected with the Siyum of Gullus, with the completion of Gullus. Through learning Torah in general, and especially when we complete an entire Mesechta, which makes a joy, a completion in Torah, helps us come to the completion of Gullus. We see this also in the fact that by the first Geula, the first redemption, which is Pesach, on Erev Pesach, it's customary in all Jewish communities that we make siyumim specifically for a b'chayr, a b'chayr, a firstborn, because otherwise he would have to fast. But nevertheless, the custom has become, and it's an age-old custom, that people in general try to make siyumim on Erev Pesach, even not a b'chayr specifically. And that's connected with the original, the first geula, the end of the Golos Mitzrayim. Similarly, now when we want to bring about the siyum, the end of this Final Golos, it's done through making siyumim and through making more the better, more siyumim. Just if we're talking about siyum, we should connect this also with the idea of two things. First of all, it's important to mention that the Rebbe said every siyum should be connected to an increase in giving tzedakah. So by the siyum itself, one should mention to increase in giving tzedakah. And also that by every siyum, it should be spoken about the idea of Avas Yisrael and Achtos Yisrael, the unity of Jewish people, which brings the Gula. And then these Siyumim continue even on Tisha B'Av itself, also on the Shabbosis of these nine days, even though on Shabbos one can anyway eat meat and drink wine. But because we're not doing it only to eat meat and drink wine, because we don't even eat meat and drink wine. So therefore on Shabbos also one should increase more in Simcha and in Torah by making a Siyum on Shabbos as well. 
And this goes also for Tisha B'Av also, even though Tisha B'Av is a fast day, nevertheless one should make a siyum, both on Matzei Tisha B'Av, when one can make a siyum on a regular Mesechta, and on Tisha B'Av itself there's certain Mesechtas, like for example Mesechta Smachis, which one is allowed to study, or Mesechta Ma'id Katan, that the last chapter of Ma'id Katan speaks about laws of mourning, so one can study in the Siyum, the end of Mesechta is allowed to be learned on Tisha B'Av also, those Siyum should be made also on Tisha B'Av itself. Mm-hmm.